So when I first got into making videos, all I would focus on is the visuals. How does the scene look, the lighting, the background? While all that stuff is really important, audio is half of it, if not more important, whenever you're making professional videos. Take this scene for example, it sounds really good, but if we take the processing away from it, it sounds kind of weird, right? Like right now it's kind of almost distracting. Then if we jump to another camera that has the mic really far away from me, it probably doesn't sound really good, right? Unless I get really close and that sounds a little better. So in this video, we're gonna dive into three tips to step up your audio to make it sound not so great to professional. And I'm super excited to announce that we've created an audio preset pack for Premiere Pro with over 50 plus presets. More on that later, let's get into the video right now. So right now the audio that you're listening to is from this boom mic and we have it placed in a really nice spot. It sounds really good, but half the sound is the processing that we're doing on this. If you take the processing off, what you're hearing now is just the raw audio, which doesn't sound, you know, the worst, but it definitely didn't sound as good as it did before. And then if we jump to another camera right here, I have my other camera placed to the side doesn't sound too great without any processing, but if we put the processing back on, now it sounds pretty good. But if I also step away from it, now it doesn't sound too great. And then another microphone that you probably didn't even realize that I'm wearing is a lav mic. It's under my shirt. It's right here and you don't even see it, but it sounds pretty good, right? Same thing, if we take the processing away from it, now it sounds pretty different, kind of distracting, not really as pr as nicely, I would say. But if we put the processing back on, now it sounds really good, right? So that's why I'm so excited with these presets because we've spent a lot of time going through old footage, making up some new setups like this to see what really sounds great and make it super easy for creators like you and I to just make the workflow a lot faster and sound really professional. Okay, so now let's get into these three tips to make your audio sound a lot better. Wes, get, get over here behind the camera, get in front of it. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Wes, why don't you tell us a little bit about you doing the audio department? Sure, man. So I've been doing audio for about 20 years of my life. Been doing studio recordings and lots of different stuff and, and doing video. And so it's, it's kind of allowed me to apply that knowledge here in video stuff as well. So I absolutely love it. Yeah, definitely. Well, this setup looks awesome. I'm so stoked on it. And then, like I mentioned before, the audio sounds so good, especially from this boom. So why is it placed right here? Like what, what's so important about placement? Yeah, man, so mic placement is super, super important because depending on where it's focused, what kind of uh, pattern it has, whether it's a cardioid pattern, an omni uh, pattern, I mean, it, it really makes a difference on what it's picking up. So yeah. specifically for this guy, whatever it's pointed at, it's gonna be very focused on. So with boom mics specifically, the best way to place them really is kind of do something silly, and that is you put a little unicorn horn on your head, and right above that is where it's gonna be pointing. And so you're gonna want it just at the top of that if you can see my thing. So yeah. for you, if you were to step back into the center and do that yourself, yep. you can see it's pointed just off the top of this. And I know you guys can't see it, but it's literally just like that just, much. Just out of frame. frame. Yeah. Just out of frame. So that is why it sounds so great, yeah. Yeah. So what would happen if you just had it, you know, really far away or something? Sure, so let's put you back there and I'm gonna move yeah. this mic now. So this is still the audio where it is, but now that we move it away, you can see that the audio is gonna change a little bit, a lot. So it probably sounds really different, not too good. I imagine there's probably a lot more echo to it now, but if we bring it back right where it was, now it sounds pretty good, so that's... It's crazy, it's a pretty big difference. Do you have your other lav with you? Yeah, it's just over here though. <laughs> okay, so now I have another one. So if you can't put it under the shirt, you know, whatever your talent's wearing, whatever, where else would you put this? Sure, so another spot that's gonna be good, if you can't have it right here, is just gonna be to kind of serve the general area around here. Okay. So we don't want it too close to your neck, but kind of move it as you talk and you can kind of begin to hear it change. So this would be like the ideal placement right here, kind of like in the chest area. So if I kind of just, you know, put it over here more, I bet the audio sounds a little different. And if we go all the way, maybe over here, like, you know, in my case, I'm wearing a really tight collar. If I were to have to, you know, put it right here, I feel like it's gonna sound, what, probably doesn't sound too good, huh? No, and even directly beneath your throat is gonna give you much more of a throaty oh, yeah. sound, and you're so, really not gonna get that clarity. This is the, the throaty sound. <laughs> so this is directly under my throat, where if I were to have to clip it on the collar, that would probably be like the only option, but yeah, probably doesn't sound too good. Versus if you have it, you know, right here, it probably sounds best. 
So if you're doing also more of a vlog styled video where the mic is on the camera, that's also a really great option. But same thing, as close as you can get to that mic, it's gonna sound a lot better. So if I go way over here, I'm trying to you know talk a little bit louder to reach the camera, but you're probably gonna hear a bunch of echo versus if I come in real close like I normally do when I'm vlogging, it's probably gonna sound a little bit better. Proper bike placements, really this close. Just kidding. Exactly. So now that we know about mic placement, what do you do about audio levels? You know, whenever I first started and I put mic on my camera, I was like, okay, cool, now I got pro audio, but now I had, I had no idea what to do as far as like the level and I just kept it on auto, but that's probably not a good idea, right? Now I use manual audio, but it's probably not good, right? Yeah, I would say, you know, most of the time I would never use auto unless there's something specific I need. But I would say manual is great because it's gonna give you um, your exact level that you're choosing and it's gonna give you some wiggle room and it's not gonna be doing any background limiting or compression, yeah. which would affect a pumping kind of sound mm -hmm. and it's not very natural sounding. Yeah. So unless you're only using what's coming off of your you know, recorder or whatever that's doing that compression or limiting, I would say don't do that. And so as we're looking at our camera, what we kind of want to pay attention to is usually it's going to have some sort of, you know, green or nominal mark somewhere around negative 12 to negative six. Yeah. And that's going to be really where you want to rest your audio at. So you have a little bit of room above that in case you get louder and mm -hmm. you peak. Um, and that way, if it's too quiet, you're going to be introducing too much of the room noise when you yeah. bring it back up. True. Yeah, that's, that's could have been said it better. And I remember I noticed that now that I know a little bit about this, whenever I first started, you know, vlogging or making videos and I just kept it on auto, I'm yeah. like, man, this audio sounds like way too like borderline peaking sometimes. And it just sounded weird. Now, you know, having it at the proper level, which is kind of like that negative 12, negative six mark in editing, it sounds, you know, really great already. And then you just put on that extra processing to take it to the, you know, that final finished sound. So. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have a great scene set up, we learned where to place the mic, we talked about audio levels, what else is next? What else can we do to make our scene just, or our audio sound just a little bit better? Sure, well, if you don't really have control over the place as much that you're recording in, yeah. and say you're getting a lot of echo, which is really, really frustrating and annoying. Even when you have proper mic placement, sometimes you can still hear those reflections in the room. Yeah. Uh, something very easy to do is to kind of make the room smaller using some blankets, using some whatever you have. You can get stuff at places like Harbor Freight or Walmart, whether it's blankets, moving blankets, things like that. And if it's a black or a really dark color, it can almost double as a negative feel. But you would kind of put this just out of frame and you would put this to the left, to the right, and any direction that the audio, that the speaking is going. So that way, the blankets are gonna be absorbing the sound, not letting it to travel past that too far, and basically augmenting the room so it feels smaller in the auditorial experience. Yeah, that's a great tip, especially almost like what we're doing right here, right? Like, this is, this right here is just out of frame, kind of taking away some of that light, but if we even had to use this, we could also probably get away with it too. Yeah, you so. could absolutely, you could put a blanket over this too, exactly. and it would just help absorb more sound for you. Yeah. So we're gonna set up a different spot that has a lot more echo, kind of like this gym right here, a ton more echo, but to really show that, that effect, an example of using a sound blanket how much of a difference it can make, we're gonna set that up right now. Woo! Oh, blankets! <laughs> you boys like blankets? <laughs> So let's say that you wanted to film a segment right in this spot. It's pretty echoey as you can hear, but if we simply just walk over here, you can tell that immediately it's a really big difference. And why is that? Well, that is because we're using these sound blankets. We literally set them up right here. And the cool thing about them too is they actually act as a negative fill. So, you know, a little bit of a darker side, brighter side, a little more cinematic looking versus completely even and you get better sounding audio. Another great use for that also is if 
your person you're interviewing or filming is sitting down and maybe they're tapping or something on the ground and you can hear them moving or fidgeting, mm. you can put a blanket beneath them as well to help also kill reflections directly beneath them where say the boom mic is facing. Yeah, like if it's wood floor or something. Exactly, and it will eliminate those noises. Yeah, and, and I've had that before. That's so funny you mentioned that where uh, I guess someone was just feeling really nervous or something in this video shoot and they just kept kept tapping and then later on editing the video, like I didn't think about it at all and I was just like, what is that tapping noise? And it was in there and it was like, you know, pretty prominent. So yeah. That's a good tip. That's a real good tip. So I'm really excited about this preset pack because as long as you kind of do these tips that we mentioned and get the best sounding audio out of the mic, you know, you can just drag these, these presets on and it sounds really great and crisp. Like, I don't wanna just say it's you know drag and drop and it's gonna make all your audio sound perfect because you do wanna do these tips, make sure it's you know recorded correctly. That way in editing you have the most flexibility and it already sounds pretty good, but I'm so stoked on these presets. Me too, brother. I'm super excited and like you said, I mean just the fact that they're drag and drop and especially if you just do a little bit of intentionality in your setup, yeah. about mic placement and things like that, these should be perfect and exactly what you need with minimal adjustment, maybe just upping the gain on your amplify mm -hmm. and that's about it. Yeah, so what, what, what are some of the presets we have in here? Sweet, so we do, we've got presets for boom mics, we've got presets for your lav mic, we've got presets for onboard camera mics like the Rode VideoMic Pro as well as other brands and uh, also stuff for your iPhone or just any yeah. phone in general where you know you might be using that to record. Yeah, and then even we have a podcast one in there too. That's right. Really popular setup. And then not only that, we have different uh, versions of those too. So it's not just like, you know, one of this, one of that. And we have some effects, don't we? Yeah, we've got some really cool, fun effects, giving you an announcer style voice, giving yeah. you a really full pitched kind of yeah. interesting style. Style God voice like sound, you know? Yeah. All of those different things that are just really fun that, you know, you might not use all the time, but are gonna serve a really cool purpose and give some depth to what you're doing. Yep, that's right. So if you guys are interested in that, we're super stoked to release these with you guys. That link will be in the description. Like I said, we've put a ton of time into this because, you know, we, we, we've gone through this where, you know, as the more we can simplify in our workflow but still keep that professional sounding audio, it's just the way to go. So I'm stoked on these. Me too, brother. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys got some value out of this. I know that when I first started recording videos, I didn't know anything about audio, so just simply knowing these tips would have made my uh, filmmaking journey just you know, off to a better start for sure. So I hope you got some value out of this. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down your thoughts, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to be part of the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.